Hey guys, it's me, Holly Madison. Welcome back to my channel. If you hit the like and subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Today, I am taking you with me on my drive to Las Vegas. I split my time between LA and Vegas, if you don't know. And with everything that's going on in the world right now, I'm filming this in early 2021. I haven't been flying, I've just been driving, so I can stay in my own little bubble. And it's a lot. People are like, how do you do that so often? So I wanna take you with me and show you all the cute little stops on the way. So next time you drive from LA to Vegas, you know, you'll know where to stop if you need to. So anyway, let's go. Oh, by the way, you're going to notice like several outfit changes because I've tried to film this video so many times, but I'm doing it in the winter. So it gets dark super early and I'm just like really backed up on things I need to do. So I have a hard time getting out the door in the morning. And by the time I'm at Barstow, which is halfway there, it's like dark already. So this is my like fourth or fifth attempt to finish this video. So you'll be noticing like the light change throughout the whole thing and my outfits change. But anyway, um, I just grabbed a Starbucks at the Starbucks by my house and we are going to get on the road. And I think my first stop might be the in and out in Baldwin Hills, which is about 45 minutes out from LA and it's the home of the first in and out They have a little replica hamburger stand where it used to be and I will see you guys there I tried to stop at the wig store on the way before I left Hollywood Because um, I needed a wig for my photo shoot, but they are Basically closed. They're open, but they only take appointments only take one person in there at a time So I didn't get my wig on with the show so this is a replica of the original in and out stand that was put up in the late 40s, making this one of the oldest fast food chains ever. And you used to be able to get stickers if you drove by here, but it's pandemic time, so not now. Hey, it's editor Holly, and I just noticed something on my nightstand looks suspect. That is a Donald Duck figurine, just so you know. And um, I just wanted to chime in here because I didn't mention that the in and out in Baldwin Park it the replica is on one side of the freeway francisquito street the francisquito exit and then on the other side of the freeway right underneath right next to it is a functional in and out they have a big in and out store it's probably like their flagship store so that is where i stopped to get some food so i showed you the old replica in and out i'm at the functional in and out that is right down the street i'm gonna go in and get my lunch usually i would do drive through but i have to go to the bathroom I wanted to share with you guys my order. I got a regular cheeseburger, but I also love to get a grilled cheese with just extra pickle and extra spread. So that might sound kind of gross, but I swear it's really good. So I'm stuck in major traffic. I'm about to go through the Cajon Pass, which is kind of like this barren area. Um, I think it's a San Bernardino National Forest and traffic is so bad and it's usually not like this. So I'll be sitting here for a while, and if you wanna know what I usually do on the drive, I don't mind the drive at all. I don't like that it takes so much time, like once all this craziness is over, I definitely wanna start flying again, so I don't spend so much time just traveling. But I do like the peace of mind I get when I'm driving, I get some of my best ideas when I'm driving, I get a lot of thinking done, and I'll either just listen to music, podcasts, Sometimes audiobooks, but there's not a lot of audiobooks I like. I think for the most part, audiobooks are read by voices that should be doing other things. <laughs> and I know that, like, when somebody writes their own book, the book is their baby. And I've had friends write books and say they don't want to do the audiobook. I'm like, no, do it because you don't want somebody else, like, misinterpreting your words. Think of how much just your tone of voice can change the meaning of something. But a lot of audiobooks I download, it's just like the voice is not it. Anyway, so I don't listen to a lot of audiobooks, um, podcasts, listen to music. So this traffic stretch, according to my navigation, looks like it's going to last quite a while. So I might actually stop before Barstow to get another coffee because I'm getting drowsy. And also with fast food, I feel like you have to get it out of your car as fast as you get it in because it starts to make your car smell. So I also need to buy wet wipes because I'm out and especially with everything that's going on like I'm constantly like washing my hands with them and like wiping everything down especially if I'm eating in my car. So I might need to make another stop so I will check in with you guys then. This is what it looks like guys. Absolutely 
abysmal. Okay, the traffic was so bad, I ended up stopping at the Target to use the restroom and get a Starbucks. I just got tired from, you know, my food coma, from the in and out and everything else, all the sitting in the traffic. So it is getting dark so quickly and I really want to finish this video so I'm about to get back on the road. Also another reason I stopped at Target is because with everything going on in the world right now, bathrooms everywhere are closed. Like a lot of the gas stations don't even have their bathrooms open. Starbucks doesn't have their bathrooms open. So Target always does have their bathrooms open and it's usually a pretty clean environment and it's a big store so you're not crowded together with people and I think it's probably the best option to stop at when you're on the road and you don't want to pee on the side of the road. Here we are halfway there. You can see it's almost dark out because traffic was really bad in between LA and Barstow. I made the mistake of driving on a Friday. Don't do it. A few minutes after Barstow, you will get to Yermo and there's this amazing huge gas station called Eddie World and I love it because they have this huge giant ice cream sundae out in front. It lights up at night. I'm just obsessed with crazy roadside architecture and this sundae is one of my favorite things. This is the inside of Eddie World. Hi, monkey. I used to have a monkey just like this, but I lost him and I'm so sad about it. Anyway, they have a ton of stuffed toys, a ton of candy, a food court, bathrooms. Oh, here's a sloth section. They have all kinds of fun stuff. And this is where you would go if you were gonna go to the Calico mining town. We are right on the other side of the freeway from Eddie World. And if you keep following that road, you would get to Calico, which is this attraction owned by Knott's Berry Farm. It's the site of an old mining town. It has a little train ride. It has a little like Main Street ghost town. It's super cute, not open right now, but I love it. This is the site of the famous abandoned water park you'll see on the way. They tore down most of the structures, but I love abandoned places. You know you're getting close when you see the Zizek's road sign. Is that a no puffin sticker? I haven't seen that since I have been in Alaska. And the last town is home of the world's largest thermometer, Baker, California. There are lots of places to eat here, lots of gas stations. This sushi tower does not look appetizing to me. What even is that? But the alien jerky place is really cool. They've really been building it up over the past few years. It's a fun place to stop and get photo ops with like their little aliens in the DeLorean sitting out in front of the store. It's super cute. They sell a lot of jerky here. Basically, it's like a gas station inside. They have all kinds of food and restrooms and stuff like that. There's the DeLorean I was talking about. Super cute. They are also building an alien hotel back here. I also love those alien lights or whatever. Whatever that large alien is over there. And they have a concession stand. It wasn't open when I went, I think, just because of everything that's going on. Here's the hotel they're building, Alien Hotel. Back to that concession stand. I want an alien pretzel. Inside the store, they have all kinds of cute alien stuff. I got an alien dog toy. Another place I like to stop that's near the end is the gas station off the SEMA road exit. It's kind of Western themed. Here we have Westworld version 1.0. over there. We're just looking for an excuse to get inside the store and load up on some of those delicious veggie chips. So inside the store it's basically like a gas station store but they have odd things like those little turtles and some polished rocks, gemstone mine, and they've got crystals if you need any crystals on your trip. Also this big lollipop. Hey guys, sorry about my no makeup life right now, but I'm at the SEMA Road gas station and apparently they have like a really cool urinal in the men's restroom and I was going to sneak in there, but we are in rural country. We are not in unisex bathroom territory and it was kind of crowded here. I mean, it wasn't completely deserted, otherwise I would have snuck in. Anyway, supposedly a cool urinal. I don't know. Only a few more stops, I swear. This is the Terribles world's largest gas station. You can see it's basically like a Target inside. They also have a huge candy section, which is really cool. I love the whole candy store look. They also have a replica of the Las Vegas sign in case you forgot a picture and Raiders water. We've got these guys at the Terribles Hotel across the freeway. They're a good photo op. You're not supposed to sit in the bowl though. 
Okay, last stop, I promise. These are the Seven Magic Mountains, a giant art installation. You can see the people out there to compare size. Right outside of Vegas, they are a really cute photo op. Here's some pictures I took with Rascal. You can see the colors on the rocks just pop and the pictures turn out so good. So we are finally home. Thank you so much for coming along with me. See you next time. Bye.